by 2050, it is said that the 50% of the world population is going to become myopic. One out of three people are myopic. It's a epidemic. Lenskart has taken this because Lenskart is highly involved with technology. Uh, there are certain websites where you can just enter some questions that we ask you about your child and it can tell what is the risk of progression your child might have in myopia, number one. Number two, there is something called as myopia control lenses. If somebody has a myopia, uh, it's not just you can wear an ordinary glass and solve the problem. Your prescription or your power can still increase. It's not a single vision distance glasses that can correct myopia. But if it is a progressive myopia, you need to wear a lens called as pro uh, myopia control lenses. It comes in two different technology. And LensCut has taken it very seriously because if you go in the market, I'm just talking from the commercial point of view, it's very expensive for a normal uh, uh, average people to afford. It costs around 20 to 25,000 one pair. But LensCut is giving 5,000 for two pairs, like buy one, get one. Because we want the child to wear it. They play, they're very active sometimes tend to break it. So it's not just one, they need two. So I think uh, by doing this, we are actually helping uh, the world to be better because they are our future. So I'm going to talk about something very, very important and that's myopia progression in children. Myopia is basically also called as nearsightedness, which means that you can see what is at the near, but it is very difficult to see the far objects. And this is mainly because, you know, let's say an iPhone has got a 48 megapixel, but there's a lens inside our eye, which is 576 megapixels. And it can focus. I look at the far, I look at the mobile, I look at the intermediate, I look at computer. It's all clear. It's all auto-focusing. But in young children, whenever they see anything blur, it makes it very clear. This process is called accommodation. And during this process, when they work hard for the near work, especially nowadays when the kids are too much in front of iPad or tablets or mobile phones playing games or studies, they tend to work so much in near. What happens is there is a lot of pressure that happens on the eyeball and the eyeball slowly starts to elongate. And when it starts to elongate, the rays doesn't focus on the retina. It focuses in front of the retina. Yeah. So if you look at the first vision is where the rays are coming from the far, you're looking at far and it's focusing perfectly on the retina. You see everything clearly. Our eyes are designed for the distance vision. In the second case, the rays are coming from the infinity and it is focusing in front of retina. Now, this is where the child tries to make it very clear and then there is pressure on the eyeball making it elongated. In the third case, it is the myopic corrected with help of the concave lenses or spectacle lenses so that the child can see clearly. So you can see this is how a myopic child sees. And most of the myopic children, they are very active when it comes to near work. But when it comes to outdoor, sports, eye-brain coordination, you know, there is lack of interest so we need to understand that myopia means it is mainly for near work. So anybody who is doing excess of near work, we need to be very careful. <laughs> Quickly, what are the types of myopia? There are many different types of myopia, but to make it simple for you, basis the prescription or basis the power, these are the three types of normal progressive myopia, which is mild, moderate and severe. But what is more interesting is if it is not identified early, it can lead to pathological myopia that can cause glaucoma, choroidal neovascularization or retinal detachment. This is what I mentioned as irreversible loss of vision. If this happens, it is very difficult to bring back to the normal vision. Okay, and this is the main cause of blindness today. <laughs> What are the symptoms in children? This is a very important slide. And this is something that we need to identify if our child has it. Okay. Number one, the far object is blurry. I, I can't identify anything that is very far away. They're mostly engulfed in the near work and near activities. They complain of headache, eye strain, squinting. When I say squinting, they usually tend to squeeze or rub their eyes. Uh, shorter attention span. But the most important is tiredness when looking more than a feet away while playing sports. What are the treatment options available? Are there, is this treatable? Yes, it is treatable, obviously, if it is identified earlier. Spectacle correction, contact lens, correction using the contact lens. There is a treatment called as orthokeratology, which is a contact lens. And the last one is surgical. Now, to avoid myopia progression, what is 
very, very important is you need to ensure that you're following 20, 20, 20. After every 20 minutes, you need to take a break of 20 seconds and look 20 feet away. Your eyes, your muscles will relax when you're looking far away. There's too much of pressure on the eye, causing the eyeball to elongate. So one way to reduce the myopia progression is to take breaks uh, approximately after every 20 minutes. <laughs>